Here we are Sunday morning starting off with fresh legs after a couple days off. Here's Mount McLaughlin. In the back there it's hard to see right now but I'll be walking around past that. I've got about 25 mile, I have two 25 mile back to back days and then I will meet up a couple long water hauls. We'll talk a little bit more down the trail. Walking the Sky Lakes Trail a little bit this morning going through some huckleberry it's pretty early. There might be some animals out today, but haven't seen anything yet. This trail joins up with the PCT here in maybe about a half mile or so. Anyway, pretty lush, deep forest, and so far no mosquitoes. Beautiful little setting. Wow, a little burn over on the other side. Here you go, looking south from about halfway to Crater Lake from the uh, Highway 140. I think that's uh, it's Four Mile Lake. Looking south and now to the west. Hey, good morning. Welcome to day 14. I camped at uh, PCT mile 18, uh, 1800.3 at a little stream. Uh, in the evening, there wasn't very many mosquitoes. Uh, really non-existent. It had the sun on us in between the shade trees. And uh, boy, this morning they were terrible. So I packed up. I uh, had pretty much had my, uh, my pack in my tent, packed everything up, got the tent down in a hurry, got the water. Um, got out of there about 6.15 or one of the reasons I wanted to get out of there early and got water is I'm packing for 20 miles, packing water for 20 miles stretch today. And you think it's a desert out here, but there's a whole bunch of trees, a whole bunch of uh, western or mountain hemlock, uh, huckleberries. Uh, I actually went through some noble firs, but uh, I'm packing three liters, and I'm thinking if I head out early, I'll be able to make that before I um, have to sweat so much. I typically would probably pack five liters for that stretch. But that's two, four more pounds, approximately. Anyway, again, good morning, and we'll catch up with you down the road, down the trail. Fire must have just raged through here. Wow. Just took everything. But you see, there is a lot of regrowth. 
Looks like maybe eight years. Eight years of regrowth. Wow. 23 miles approaching Highway 62. Of those 23 miles, there was probably about 10 or 12 miles of just burned area. Um, not any shade. A lot of good forest walking, but just a long day. <laughs> I'll be, uh, oh, there's the highway. I can hear cars. And, and I got about 1.1 mile to Mazama Village. With any luck, there'll be some trail magic here, but I don't expect it. I can actually get a refreshment at Masama Village where I'll meet Lisa tomorrow, stay in the campground there tonight. And I'll check in with you later. So far, all the cars are leaving the park and motorcycles. I had one car going in, gave it a uh, thumb out there, but no luck. I'll keep trying, but it looks like I'm walking the 1.1. Well, the walk ends up not being so bad when you can shop at the store. <clears throat> here's a little bit of a... They do cater to PCT hikers. Here's a, here's a few hikers over here. There's a charging station behind there. And yeah, going down to Campground F where they actually uh, let PCT hikers uh, stay. Yeah, he's sitting here in my tent. Sun's about ready to go down. You can hear in the background there's... A lot of PCT hikers in here uh, packed in, about 20 of them, 20 tents probably, half of them heading south. Um, I was able to take a cold shower and going to do a little massaging on the legs and uh, hit the sack soon. Good morning. Welcome to day 15. We are, I, we spent the night at Mazama Village. We took the trolley this morning to save five miles of hiking. Took the trolley up to the backcountry ranger district, uh, ranger office to get a backcountry permit so that we could stay at Lightning Springs. Uh, that'll allow us to spend an extra day in the park. So here we were at Mazama campground. We ended up taking the trolley up to the backcountry office and we're gonna catch the next trolley up to here it's actually three miles and uh we get the trolley be a lot faster <laughs> then we're gonna we're gonna stand the night at lightning springs the uh whole rim village is in here but then we'll end up hiking out this is the trail out and this is the road out we'll head out to highway 138 where we'll start our next section Here's the first look at Crater Lake in the morning. There's Lisa walking the rim. Interesting though, it, the colors are getting to be a little bit muted at 10 o'clock. But there's an overlook right here that's kind of cool. I'd never noticed before. And then just the blueness of the water. Wizard Island, of course. I really cannot even explain the beauty that I'm looking at right now. It's just incredible. Since this morning, it's got the blues have become bluer. And uh, it really is a spectacular thing. Even seeing a reflection of a cloud in the lake is pretty amazing. And of course, there's well, I thought, more. I thought and you were then, talking about me. And then there's more <laughs> beauty right there. Leaving Crater Lake, that is Mount Bailey. Mount Thielsen over, where, how do I do this? Mount 
Nielsen right there. And if you look hard, you can see Diamond Lake down in there. So that's where all the bugs are supposed to be. So we'll be ready for them. We're going to do battle. We have some secret sauce. Hey, it's the end of day 15 Tuesday, and I have joined my mountain man out here in the wilderness. We took a, had the opportunity to take a trolley from Mazama Village up to the Crater Lake Lodge, which was super fun. And then we uh, hiked, played around at the Crater Lake Lodge for a while, and we hiked about uh, nine miles. We were gonna, oh, I got a bug right there. <laughs> we were gonna camp at, what was the name of the campground? We're gonna camp at Lightning Springs. Okay, we were gonna camp there, but we it was too early, so we decided to head on down the road and get in some more miles, so we did that. We are dry camping, we have no water here, but. Greg hiked another half a mile or so down to a water cache and filled us up with water. So we are good to go and uh, we had a great day. Crater Lake is so beautiful when you're um, up around the rim. I, I cannot believe how blue the water was and it's still, it doesn't move. It was like, it was filled with blue resin is what I felt like I was looking at. So, keep moving. <laughs> that's, <around>. our, <laughs> that's our guy showing our camp. Anyway, uh, it was a great day. I have a few hot spots on my feet. And other than that, we're having a great time. Very good. And then uh, because we we're in a spot without a, any kind of their critter control, I've been keeping the, the food in my tent, but there's a big leaning tree over there. I've thrown a rope over it, and we will uh, lift our bags about 10 feet off the ground and uh, secure everything that way anyway good night from where are we at we are at uh i don't know where are we <laughs> we are somewhere we are in the we have eight miles eight miles till uh highway 138 where we have a pickup and yeah, resupply i'm getting picked up and out of here <laughs> <laughs> all right and what else do you have to say happy trails Hey, good morning. Here we are at a crossroads of the uh, Pacific Crest Trail where the alternate route that goes through Crater Lake comes to the main, uh, the main PCT. So at this juncture, there's a long walk without water. And there's one kind soul who, we have a bear box at this location right off the road where there is water. Somebody supplies this, fills these jugs up, and we're going to get a couple liters each to walk our eight miles today to meet our ride. And there she is back there, pace setter, <laughs> walking through forest. It's uh, pretty much downhill <clears throat> for about eight miles to the highway. But that's a lot of what the trail looks like. Nice flat surface, forest walking. We should have a really good day. Yeah, that's the end of my two day journey with Ray. I'm gonna be getting picked up here at Highway 138 with uh, David, Greg's brother's picking me up, which is super appreciative of that. And I'll be joining Greg again up in the Mount Hood area to finish this in about two weeks. We'll, I'll have a two-day hike with him and we'll finish at Cascade Locks. Happy trails! <laughs>